Hey guys, James here today and welcome to my first uh, Sims 4 mod video where we're actually going to be overviewing slash reviewing uh, a mod for the game. So today I thought I'd start off pretty exciting. Uh, this is ownable cars in The Sims 4 and you can use these to travel around the world. Now, I've, I've just built a crappy little garage. I, I, I'm going to be honest, it doesn't look very good on this house, but <laughs> I kind of shoehorned it in here. But I was, I'm, I'm, I'm just kind of showing you what you could do I, as a starting point anyways. I, I mean, like I didn't even fix the roof there, but you know, starting point. So they got a nice, beautiful little sports car out the front, very, looking very good. So I believe these are models that actually exist in the game, like the cars you sort of see driving on the roads every so often. I don't think we actually have any around here, but yeah, so because these, these models do exist in the game, so what the guy has gone ahead and done is actually brought them into the uh, activities and skills catalog. Now, I don't particularly like this one because it, it definitely looks like a little toy car. I mean, I guess you could use that, but I, I'm also not a fan of that one because that is that is very toy-like, but you know, a anyways, uh, I'm not really here to scrutinize the, the models because that is actually just from the game. They haven't made these. These are just from the game. Let me just give myself some more money so we can have a look at them all. Let's actually grab them out. Oh, milestone complete. Fantastic. Let's actually grab these cars over here so we can sort of have a look at them all. All right, so let's, uh, so yeah, we've got a little minivan. We've got a little, uh, I don't know, a little speedster kind of car there. We've got the the ute or if you prefer truck i guess uh nice little muscle car as well and then the little sports car so now i don't believe this is uh 100 perfect at this particular mod because i think yeah trying to change the colors after you've placed them doesn't work for whatever reason uh i mean i presume they'll fix that but right now it, the colors after you place them don't work but you can change the colors as you're placing them so like if i wanted a, the green muscle car it will work like that but changing colors after you've placed them right now not not working but i mean that, that's kind of a minor thing uh, and it's really nice to just have these cars right size because there, there are the toy cars in the game uh, i really just need to give myself way more money hang on let me um let me go testing cheats on and money Okay, you can't do that much money. Uh, <laughs> that was too much money. There you go. A million dollars. Beautiful. That'll uh, mean I won't have to keep spawning in money. All right. Anyways, what I was trying to say. So, uh, yeah. So, there, there, there are toy cars in the game, which you may be aware of. And it's what people have used to sort of... Like, here, this is actually a toy version of that car there. So, if we scale this up. This is the same model, more or less, but it's just a lower quality version. Uh, so you can see, like, it actually is pretty much the same. So these these exist in the game, and people have been using these as, like, decorative uh, cars. But now the thing is, so we've actually got the car models unlocked, all the high-quality models. They all look very, very nice, which is good. Uh, and, of course, like I said, they are drivable. Uh, well, I say I say drivable, but then, I mean obviously there's no there's no animation of driving onto the road or anything. Um, but you click on them and you can go drive to. So let's use a Luna here for example. Uh, it's even got like a little icon of a little car driving. Isn't that nice? So we go drive to, and then it essentially acts as a, a travel portal. Like it it kind of acts like your mobile phone would. So if we drive to the park, it would just take us there. Uh, yeah. So it, it's kind of just like using your phone or going to the map and doing it that way. But I mean. For for a mod, like I don't I don't even know if it's possible for a mod to add in like custom animations of sitting in a car and all that kind of crazy stuff, but just the fact that they have even got cars to be able to function in that manner, I think that's something that, if like I don't think it would have been that far fetched for the actual uh, developers to do that. Like I mean, I, I I just don't understand why we don't have cars that that even do that. I mean, they can add, sure, they could add more functionality later. Like, if, if in the base game they had just had cars like this, it would have been fine. Like, I mean, it, it's not perfect. Everyone would have been like, oh, but why don't they animate or blah, blah, blah. But it's still better than nothing. Like, I mean, but the fact that this mod does it and it uses the cars in the game and allows you to drive around with them, pretty awesome. I hope that the, the mod, the, the guy that made this adds in like a, a garage door with the mod because that would be perfect because there isn't one. Uh... That, that'd be cool. Uh, but yeah, no, as, as it stands, having these custom cars in the game, being able to drive around, even put them in my inventory. Huh, let's try that. I mean, it's not that exciting, but put it in my back pocket. Oh, she walks through it. Whoop. It's in her pocket. There it is. Nice. All right, place and world. Let's see if that works. Uh, oh, she's going there. Oh, there you go. Yeah, nice. Okay. Yeah, so there you go. It comes with these five cars, just because these are the ones in the game. They haven't done any custom models, uh, but they've added the custom Drive 2 option, which is pretty, pretty cool. So if you're interested in this, just a little bit more realism in your game. Pretty cool mod. Uh, works very nicely. I would definitely check for updates, see if they fix the uh, the color selection as well. Uh, that doesn't seem to work. Let's see if it works now. Um, 
Nah, you can't recolor them after you place them for whatever reason. Uh, yeah, check for updates on that. I would recommend. But, uh, I mean, that's pretty much going to do it for me. Like, I mean, there's, there's not much else to say. It adds cars. You can drive places with them. You can own the cars. They're actually, um, they're worth a decent amount of money as well. So it's not like you're just getting a car for free. Like, uh, you can see here, they're pretty much on par with sort of Sims 3 kind of prices. Uh, although the sports cars are a little bit cheaper, but you know, like you got 10,000, 12,500, 15,000, 17,500 and 20,000. So they're not, they're not just cheap. You're not just dropping your money on nothing. Uh, you definitely got to work for them and, uh, they're a nice little addition. I, like I said, I would like to see uh, a garage door, um, in the door category or something, I guess. I don't, I don't even know. Like, I mean, it doesn't have to be an actual door. I, I, I don't even expect them to make a functioning garage door, but just like a decorative door you could place down. Like even if it's just a wall, um, like a wall decoration in here, that'd be cool. Just have a wall decoration that you just place on a wall. Like I, I don't, cause I mean the cars, the cars aren't animated themselves. So I wouldn't even mind if like, it'd just be cool to have a garage door that looks like a door, you know? But that's just my suggestion, and that's a first look at the Ownable Cars mod for The Sims 4. I hope you guys enjoy this and have a little bit of fun with it in your game as well. Add a little bit more realism to your houses and your Sims. Uh, but thanks for watching, guys. I will see you next time, and have an awesome day.